If you were listening to this, then I and everyone else are gone. But humanity has survived, and you were done for finding this tape. If I hid this narration high in the mountains of Scotland, in a place so extreme, it would not be stumbled upon for hundreds of years. Under a rock that has no earthly business being in a Scottish mountainside. Black volcanic glass. This is the story of the beginning of the end. So, child, sit back. Take note. Because this is how the year 2020, mother went down. Once upon a time, there was a bat. Now, some dude, let's call him Chinese Bruce Wayne, may have eaten that bat and released onto humanity a terrible plague. I don't know to this day why he did it. All I can say with any certainty is the events that followed were unprecedented. You see, 2020 was born on the 1st of January, 2020, in a not so far away kingdom called Earth. The year started quite well, <laughs> bringing bushfires and locusts like some kind of apocalypse. But the good times were not to last. As the virus spread, all the great leaders gathered to say, F*** this, you're on your own. They would not risk the wrath of the virus on their own economies and sometimes people. One by one, the villages closed their borders. But some of the people were brave and wise. These wise people bought all the toilet paper, enough to last a thousand plagues. Enough to clean up 500 yards of shit smell of frownness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I don't want to. Bread and pasta became the new currency as we returned to a bartering system. People would trade their wedding rings and babies and even their PlayStation for a loaf of tiger bread. Hand sanitizer became the new oil. And with no gyms, the people ran like Forrest Gump on speed. Even those who hadn't run since 1998, they chugged it up a hill or two, and the world started to heal itself. Dolphins returned to the Venice Canals, goblins returned to New Zealand, and the Mac returned from wherever he was. Every event that ever existed was canceled, and the outlook for humanity was looking bleak. But there was hope, because the great celebrities from their mansions knew one thing that could get us through. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. An out of tune John Lennon song. And everyone, for a brief moment, said, huh? You're serious? And we clapped. We clapped our healthcare heroes. They deserve adulation. Not, not a pay rise, but a smattering of applause. And they should be grateful for it, too. Cooped up in their hold fasts, the people binged one show after another. Carol Baskin. Humanity had one hope. A young, handsome prince. Wisest of all the idiots. Prince Trump. Toiled day and night to find a cure. And then he had a master stroke. A cure that had sat under our runny noses all along and sinks. Bleach. A injection inside or, or almost a cleaning because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. Everyone needs to inject themselves with bleach. Might clear it all out or 
summon. I know 300 years in the future, you aren't going to believe this, but this actually happened, like really. In the village of America, the townsfolk yearn for the end of lockdown because of rights and haircuts. It was like a modern day Rapunzel story. Remember this kid from Home Alone? Well, this is him in 2020. Deep in the realm of the internet, the most intelligent of all the race of humans were not to be hoodwinked, for the virus was actually made up. It was China, uh, Bill Gates, and T-Mobile who were working as a little team to implant microchips. They used Bill Gates' computers to spread the powerful truth. But the stupid people wouldn't listen. Oh, if only we listened. You who would listen to this now wouldn't be serving Melinda Gates tea like some kind of robot butler. I'm guessing. But, my dear robot butler friends, the year dragged on. Days blurred into nights. Winter turned to spring, spring to summer, and the bars and pubs opened again. But the fear remained. Face coverings became mandatory. Worst of all, for the first time in history, we even had to wash our hands. The brave, handsome, wise idiot Prince Trump he knew the truth. The truth was in the graphs. <laughs> Only countries that had tested had the virus. So if we all just stopped testing, we would defeat it once and for all. So I'm assuming if you are alive now, that is what happened, my good robot butler friends. But as 2020 draws to a close, there are still many questions. If you're alive and listening to this, I'm assuming that what's the cure? Well, stop testing. Either way, I guess humanity lived happily ever after. I hope 2021 was better. I hope people stopped doing so much dumb shit. I hope. P.S. If you have invented time travel, uh, come back with accurate bat cooking instructions for Chinese Bruce Wayne. 15 minutes to 200 out of thought would have done it. Before you go, I do have a few questions about the future. What is it like? And is it good? Drop a like and let me know in the comment section of this audio tape recording. In a bit. <laughs>